in the two games that she hasn't, Notre Dame has lost. And that includes the first meeting between these two teams in Chestnut Hill, West Belt. Also top five in rebounding amongst freshmen. She's leading Notre Dame in scoring, and it's very rare. Prohaska with a nice mid-range. She led in scoring by a true freshman, but that's what Maddie Westbelt is doing. Dickens launches the three, hits it. Michaela Dickens is one of the better three-point shooters in the ACC. When she is cold, BC struggles. And to your point, Jen, when she heats up, BC plays so much better. Cam Swartz can score the ball. She is Boston College's second leading scorer behind Taylor Soul. And I think the big issue for Swartz so far has been shot selection. Team points in that game, as you said, Jen. All right, some key subs in for both teams. There's Sam Brunel wearing that face mask. Looks like she's gotten a little more used to it now. If you notice there, Jen, she held her hand up to fix her mask. Coach Ivy wearing one of the national championship rings today. Not sure which one, but that's always a nice flex. It's kind of like your Emmy behind you. Threes in transition. It really sets the tone for them offensively. So this is not what Notre Dame wants to let BC get going early as Cam Swartz. Really deep into that shot clock, the first few possessions. They have, and their West Belt <laughs> quick three didn't get as deep into the shot clock, and she knocks it down. They've been a bit thin due to some injuries. Akuna Conquo is still out for the Eagles. They were down without Clara Ford, at least at full health, for a little while. And Peoples has been really active here these last couple possessions for Notre Dame. Lane. I think she's looking at her teammate, right? She sees Destiny Walker coming, she thought about it, and then she made the right decision. What a job she has done, and she's running the point, but boy, is she shooting the three-pointer well, too. She is one Dickens. of the best shooters in the ACC. Oh, well, as is Dickens. Watch out! Wow. Watch out, Kelly! To out of bounds by Westbelt. Excellent pass by Van Timmeren. It just shows, and of course, Dickens with the knock. I'm impressed with that, and Notre Dame just getting a little sloppy in transition. They were very active in their zone, but there is an excellent pass by Bro Prohaska. Great communicator, and she really is a great passer. And Prohaska certainly, I think she's always relished her time on the court, but maybe even more so this season after she was forced to sit all of last season. May not go out there and give you 25 but can do everything else. And I also think Prohaska with uh, her experience, you know, she was on those national championship team. What gets Notre Dame going? For Boston College, it's the three. And it's obvious that with how well BC has shot the ball, four for six from three, they are feeling good. And Michaela Dickens is feeling good. Largest lead of the game now for Boston College is Notre Dame has gone over three minutes without a point. Mabry trying to change that, does. Peoples pulls up. Bomb the offensive rebound and put back. Soul was very good against Notre Dame in, uh, 10 days ago, but Michaela Vaughn, when she gets a one-on-one -on -one with Vaughn, it's tough, but there's Taylor Soul finding the openings. Way to get your star performer going. Call something for her on the inbounds, and Soul delivered four points in the game now. Vaughn on this set, good. West Belt calling for it, has the mismatch. Excuse me there, Jen. 7-0 run by the Irish to take the lead. And a steal, Mabry tapped it away. Trying to get the finish and does. Huge play for Dara Mabry. Up some action, see if you can get a better look than a long two. Good look for Sewell running the floor. And she will try to go to the free throw line and add another. Contact. And then trying to get in there to get her own offensive board. Yeah. Ah. Mabry on the other end, got the friendly roll. Great point, all of those points for Mabry have come in the second quarter. Now another turnover. Walker had Mabry, took it herself, why not? Notre Dame now with 11 fast break points. One flash to the high post right now because Coach Mack just doesn't trust them at this moment to make that pass. Shot up and good from the corner. Of the timeout, that's what you want to see if you're Coach Mack. Call a timeout, draw something up, knock down the three. Peoples wide open on the baseline and gets two points for it. Eagles, your advice was take care of the ball. Having some trouble with that at the moment. 
And now it is Mabry all alone to add to her second quarter point total, make it 11. Excellent finish. Lead double digits now for Notre Dame. Van Timmeren gets inside. That are able to finish like that. One dribble, finish through contact. Don't get scared. Don't get worried about the footsteps behind you. Very impressed with Van Timmeren. A little slow to get started, perhaps, but they're leading the charge for the Irish in quarter number two. Wide open. Boy, that's been there for both teams, hasn't it? This time it's Bats and Boston College. Allowed over 40 points in the paint to their opponents in their losses on the season. Final seconds of the first half taken away. The ball, the West Bell, then it's good. One a front. If you just stay behind Vaughn, she's going to score on you. So I think that's got to be the key for BC. Front Vaughn in the post and force them to make a bad pass. Good shooting from deep so far for the Eagles. 6 of 11 in the game. More point points, though, for Peoples and Notre Dame. Five on the shot clock for the Eagles after that pass was batted away. Draw will try another one. Got it just before the shot clock buzzer. Notre Dame has gone to the high-low every possession until now. <laughs> and, of course, they get a backdoor there. But Coach Ivy is going to do what she thinks is best, and she is way more qualified than me to make these decisions. When you can run the high-low like that, why would you shoot threes? Why would you shoot it? <laughs> Van Timmeren and Bats come off the bench for Boston College. Now here comes Van Timmeren, a ton of family and high school teammates and friends in the stands. They'll take an assist. I'm sure that... Jenison High School in Allendale, Michigan is sad not to have this superstar <laughs> playing high school ball. Especially off of a make or a made free throw to throw the opponent off their game. Got high low, working its way again. This time it's Westfeld to Brunel. Her name's just going to keep going back to that if, if BC doesn't change something. Right. I wanted to make sure that did count. It was more of a medium low that time as Westville. Kind of got midway through the paint three this season. Dickens, don't leave her open. Don't leave Michaela Dickens open. It's not a bad shot. Van Timmeren shoots 39% from three. It was a little quick in the shot clock, but she has that in her arsenal. And has continued to be aggressive without picking up fouls. Swartz driving to the basket where there is a lid on the basket right now for the Eagles, or at least there was. Sewell finishing it off. Great hustle by Swartz to keep that play alive, got an offensive board, tipped the ball around, and allowed Sewell to score. But Maddie Westbelt, the 6'3 freshman. Look at what would have been a pretty tough shot right there, right, for Westbelt as she was dribbling down the floor. She knew it. She saw it. She says, here you go, Michaela. You finish. That's easier for you. Nice drive that time. Certainly would give this team a little confidence despite the rough start for the Eagles in conference play. Just one and six so far. Their only win, that win, where they came back against Notre Dame. To, to wrangle and to control, but she did a great job of collecting that pass. How about that passing? How you like that one for the Eagles and Van Timmeren? People's calling for it. A lot of defenders around her. Walker, tough shot, somehow got it to go. Take the ball back out. See what kind of shot you can get in your offense. Gerard, knocked down three triples in the third quarter. She's got another. Great pass on the baseline. One extra pass, and Gerard knocks down a three. Mabry says, hey, we can do that too. Notre Dame, one of the best in the conference. Missed opportunity right there by Dickens, missing them both at the line. I like our well, producer, Derek, that. pointing out that that was all your fault. Yes. Yeah, you yeah. Sell me out. Tough shot there by Soul. Notre Dame looking to run. Walker beats everybody down the floor. Excellent box out on the other end by Westbell. It is not easy to box out Taylor Soul. And Westbell has done a pretty good job so far today. Destiny Walker picked a parade. When NC State is the only two teams in the conference to get to five ACC wins so far. The Louisville on the verge of that potentially. Nice drive there by Westbelt. Floater too strong. Tapped it away from Walker. Dickens got it back to Sewell. And one more. Huge momentum play right there. To add up a little bit more now. 15 for Sewell. 
BC is going to keep pressuring Notre Dame, but the issue with pressuring is to take with Notre Dame with how well they shoot the three. Yeah, I mean, we talked a lot about their points in the paint, but the Irish are 50% from three in the game. They're five of 10. They just need to play solid defense here. You don't necessarily need a turnover, but you do have to get a stop so you can get back on the other end. The Irish have made their last five field goal attempts. Gerard, welcome back, Marnell. Gerard is on fire. She is doing her best Gina Conti impression this afternoon in Purcell Pavilion. Oh, the no look from Mabry to set up Walker. We've seen some nice no look passes in this fourth quarter. Dara Mabry. Her eyes are looking at Brunel, but the ball goes. Going to win you a lot of basketball games in the future if you can shoot the three like that. And now what do you do? I mean, if there was supposed to be a foul at some point in that sequence, it never happened, and Vaughn gets two. Notre Dame's still without Caitlin Gilbert. She's still hobbled and in a boot, so they're going to have to go a little longer without her. She'll be a nice addition whenever she comes back. Gerard says, don't forget about us just yet. Gerard has a career high. Six three-pointers made, just not quite enough to overcome what was a really strong finish, Kelly, by the Irish in this one. Get a little revenge.